Hey everybody, I'm going to give a quick lesson on Projection Master in ZBrush 4 Release 4. Let's use a simple Dynamesh sphere located right there. And let's see, let's divide this up a few times by going to Geometry, Dynamesh, and just rank it up or, you know, move it up. That looks nice. And then hold down Shift reduce the Z intensity and okay then that down so that's 326,000 then hold down shift <clears throat> to increase that and smooth this sphere out just so it looks like a sphere and not a big huge uh, box or boxy sphere <clears throat> okay Dynamesh smooth Dynamesh smooth Okay, now that's that's nice. Now let's go to material. This this doesn't matter. You can have this on off, whichever one you want to. Um, let's okay. The material is this this thing right here. So if we wanted to have a chrome C, that is pretty fancy. And if we start, you know, that is pretty trippy. Or if we want, yeah, if we wanted this on this sphere we need to go to color fill object and that fills the material on the object and it changed to a different color because we need to go to RGB and then make this green or whatever bright green that's that's ah no <clears throat> okay good then with RGB on go to color fill object and that gives a green of whatever this chrome C <clears throat> material is but let's go to uh, basic material okay that didn't change because we already applied the other material to that which is why when you're working with multiple objects or subtools it's wise to um, <clears throat> place materials on each subtool to make your scene look really complicated in many different materials so uh, but anyway <clears throat> Okay, now we've got this uh, basic material selected. So, with material on, go to color, fill object. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got a green color on the basic material on this fancy. Oh, uh, we need to smooth that out. Smooth, control, sh control, click and drag, Dynamesh, control, click. Nice, smooth, control Dynamesh, smooth. Yeah, that's good. I don't, that doesn't need to be perfect. <clears throat> okay, Dynamesh, okay, that's good. Now, let's talk about Projection Master. Projection Master is really, really fancy. In ZBrush, you have a lot of textures that you can choose from. Like, let's say we wanted this to look like uh, the Death Star or something. So we have that selected. Ah, cancel. Go to your brushes palette. Choose clay build up. Ugh, turn this alpha off. Texture back to Death Star. Yeah, that one. And uh, change this to drag rectangle, which applies this material in, you know, like that. It didn't apply right there because we don't have that um, stuff or RGB and material stuff on. Now it should just apply that. Whoa, trippy. Um, to the object. And that's nice. Ta-da! Okay, that, that's fancy. But sometimes you really want to get down and dirty with your um, object to make it look a certain way or act a certain way. And um, The best way, I think, to do that is using Projection Master. You can click on Projection Master at any time Mm, let's just keep colors on right now. Press drop now, and that turns your canvas into a 2.5D state, and then open up Lightbox. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, Lightbox. And then choose any texture in here. This, wow. Lots and lots, lots and lots of textures you can use, and I just don't know where to start. So let's, oh yeah, you can 
make this bigger if you want to. But I don't know. Mm, yeah, I like this one. So double click until you see it right here. And then just keep doing that. What this is doing is adding those textures to the texture palette. Okay, click, click, click. Nice. Okay. Now we have a bunch of... Uh, oh. Um, hide this. And then in your brushes palette, select your alpha brush. And then we can choose textures. And we just apply a whole bunch more. Let's add two more just for the heck of it. Okay, light box. We're in textures already. These are nice. And then you see it right there, so you know it's in there. Okay, those two. So now we've got those two textures. So close light box, and then let's let's use these. Let's use this texture first. It's still in 2.5D, so I can't move around and things like that. Um, let's change to a drag rectangle brush. Uh, no alpha because that would. I'll show you what that does in a minute. Now this drags out a flat image of whatever texture you had and let go and then projection master pick up now in if it's it's faded right now because we uh, projection master we had fade turned on so if we turn fade off and drop now turn back and uh, create the same texture on this object and projection master pick up now it will apply the whole thing on that canvas or whatever we had selected so if we went over here and zoomed in maybe projection master no fade uh, drop now click and drag just like we did before and pick that up yeah see and um, that you know that can get in the way sometimes if you're gonna use this for a video movie or video game um, so that's why sometimes it's useful to have uh, fade turned on let's try that and see what that does to okay click projection master pick up now see it yeah then let's go right there projection master drop now click and drag let go pick up this is a really really handy feature um... yeah so projection master color good oh it's not all the way up okay so that that would that doesn't help okay drop now let's move around projection master click and drag now that's a huge thing so the fade would not be as visible and it should just like uh, apply that texture to the entire thing pick up now uh, I don't know I was wrong projection master okay let's do that and that and that and that 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 see what this does or that 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 doesn't matter how many times you do this I don't think there might be like I don't know I'm just kidding you could probably do this all day long fun nice expanding boxes that's cool okay never mind projection master and that flattens everything out and yeah let's do this a few more times drop now and we can choose a different one if we wanted to um, yeah this one click and drag projection master pick up now um, projection master drop nice okay <clears throat> pick up yeah and that is how you use projection master let's fill this color with a new brush or new material so projection master and shaded material just to give you know a different look uh, let's pick another one I like this one or no no yeah let's let's do this one this has like a terminator feel to it click and drag release projection master pick up 
Nice. Isn't that cool? Okay. I will see you in the next tutorial.